uh, before we start collapsing, uh, need to tell you some things. So let me just show you. So uh, if you look here at the crease pattern. No, some some of you guys might have problems with this. So that's what I'm going to tell you. As you can see, in this angle, you don't have any creases. And here we do, but uh, here you're not supposed to have any of these creases either. Now, why is that? That's because this part here is unused. And uh, the way to use that is just to mirror all the creases on this side. So, here, example, you know mirroring all the creases like this, that will create a lot of extra creases and the uh, paper will be really thick so something like that, um, paper will be really thick and because of that the best thing you can do is to cut this part off same with this part this part is not needed at all, you can just cut it and um, some of you guys may have problems with this because you know you can't use scissors and all that but um, let me see origami is basically everything that was a paper and uh, that where, where you used creases to fold uh, the base and then you can do whatever you want you can add glue and things like that Robert Lang has really nice definition of origami but not sure if he said square, but again, lots of his models also have a new space here, so what I need to do here is I'm going to cut those two parts and those two as well. Now, I, if you don't want to cut them, in that case, just uh, make the mount fold here and just, you know, repeat all those creases, the paper is going to get, they're really thick, but again, it's your choice. Uh, as you can see here, it's pretty thick, but when you do that it's going to be even thicker so I don't know that's kinda your choice um, but yeah I'm going to cut it I'm just going to use scissors here I'm not going to use like exact knife or anything um, so yeah or maybe I should this is really uh, weak paper You'll need knife and and you'll need the glass. And then you'll need a metal ruler. So let's start here. So just this and then just cut it. Come on. The beginning is always really hard to cut, so just gonna see it. Hard. So does it here? Okay, and then here. So as you can see, actually you get a hexagon. Not a hexagon. It's a one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight octagon. Let's see how that's how you pronounce it in English.
And there we go. So those are just leftovers. Again, I'll hold up these back. Okay, so now it's collapsing time. Uh, I'm not sure if I've talked about this in the beginning, but this this kind of box pudding is pretty unique. Fuck. Okay, so it has those things. Um, they're called lever level shifters, I think. So here is what this actually does. No, it's really dark. Okay, so you see the abdomen is actually two units wide, I guess. I mean, at least a half of it. It's four actually. Now, if we just made like uh, straight lines like this, it's going to be only one. Well, two actually. So that's why it's those things are added to make abdomen wider and to be the looks more realistic at the end. I can show you this easily here. You can see that this part is actually one unit and then the lever shift uh, level shifter is used to make it larger. So that's exactly what are we going to do here and we're going to do that first. You can actually do it later I think but uh, I've never done it before and I think it's a lot easier to do it now than later. So yeah, I think the designer does those things later. So let me just see and uh, okay, yeah, of course you need to flip it this way. Now let me just think how it's done. Mm, okay, so first of all, you need to make mountain fold here. So already mountain fold what is that mountain fold I think, and then just make a valley fold. Well, let me see if they can be, yeah, they can be seen also. Okay, so do this, and then do mountain fold here, and then the valley fold like that. And then mountain fold here, and then valley fold like that. It's really similar to the Ryujin trip point, what, what, 20 Ryujin. As you can see. You're doing something like that. If you look, it should look like this. And what this thing does, it uh, it separates, you know, abdomen, then this part, and then this part, as you can see. So let me just check uh, how this thing is done down here. Okay, and then. Um, two units it's here okay and then this part it's also done the same way so here is a mountain fold and then this goes down So this is how it should look like. Magical. Okay, now we can see this. Make the mountain fold along this line. Yeah. And then the valley fold. And the same thing here. And I think we have to do this again. So make another mountain fold and then another relic. So it's like this. Oh, 
Okay, so what is going to happen now? You can see this is one This is just two units, then we're going to take this part here and then you know pull it out um, So let me just show you Here if you turn around the paper, it should look like this now. It's good because you can already see those triangle things. Now let me show you here at the beginning how to do them. We're going to flatten this, hold this part here, and then it might be a bit hard to understand. You're going to open this part like this and then push, make like a open sink there look if you look here what's happening it will look like like this so let me show you how it looked like before it was like that and then you open that and then make the mountain fold and then this level shifted it so let me just show you here as well Maybe it's easier to do it from the colored side. You just open that, make the mountain fold here in the middle. Like that. And then. Do something like that. You have two mountain folds here. And then plus you're doing that, and then that's also done on the other side. So you're basically just bringing those uh, diamonds up. This is how it looks like. That level is shifted. This part. So as you can see, it's pretty useful thing. So let's see this on the other side as well. So it's here. So you just take the mount to put here and then push this part inside. Trying to close the whole model in the same time, and then here as well. Okay, and I'm just going to turn turn around the paper to make this cleaner. It works like this, as you can see. Like that, so you see, we brought this up, and uh, you just keep doing that. Now here we have another level shifter. Uh, as you can see, just take this part. You haven't seen. Uh, see, so we have this part, and then we have another another pair of those. But I didn't do this in my fold, and it's actually uh, not necessary to do. But uh, if you want to do it, you can. But it's not necessary. You're going to glue that part anyway. Look, you see this? It's only one layer here. Now, what that thing would do is it will create two of them. So I'm not sure if I should do them or not. Um, so if you want to do, do, do it, just repeat what I showed you now, and if you don't want to do it, just, just follow the video. Okay, so now I'm going to push those. Um, you, you know, I just kind of flatten that. I'm going to use my thumb just to push this paper inside. So that actually worked. Uh, this is how it looks like. 
side like this and then this is going to become a mountain fold You see, it's like that. Same thing here. Just flatten this part and push it inside, and then um, this will become a mountain fold. this okay now we have to push another one which is here now you see it's a bit weird because it's on this side but it's not here now that's because uh, this this part over here will be folded like this so you can fold it actually now that and then we're going to push you see this is now well fold no. it's going to become a mountain fold so you're going to fold this and then open this and then you can make a mountain fold here it's like this and now And there we go. You see, you have this part left to do this triangle thing. So I'll do the same thing. We fold this like that. And then we like that, and then we make the motion fold along this line. Then do that level shifter here. And then just slide in the paper. So it's something like this. Okay, so a few more. You just need to do them here. And, uh, and they're done like this. Just open this part and then use push this paper inside. This um, this side looks like well you can actually do it here from the color side. See like that and then like this.
Jason seems to hear. Okay, so there we go. Looks quite cool. If you were able to do this, uh, I think you're able to um, complete the whole model. Still thinking, should I do this part or not? Mm. No, I won't do it. Okay, so we have something like this, and now uh, we have to collapse the whole thing. Now, this is going to be really, really tricky because some parts look really weird and are quite hard to explain how are they done. So, try to explain this as best as, best as possible. And, uh, yeah. So here, so let's start. So here, you have to do. You see, here's a valley fold, and you need to do the mountain fold um, here. You see, you're just you're just making those please Look, here, here's a mountain fold, and then do the the valley fold, and then I don't know. Do this. You should stop when you come to this point. You see, here is a mountain fold, and then goes the valley fold. Okay, so now here we have the collapsing part. It's going to be painting us to show. So, you're going to look here and uh, Uh, there, hopefully, I'll be able to explain. You know what you can do? You can actually. Um... Oh, yeah, it might not be so hard. Make the mountain fold here. And then valley fold, and then mountain fold, and then just do those fan pleats. Uh, till. Well. Till you're finished. Okay, now I did all of them. So did the old fan, old fan plates. Look at this, you see, everything is like that. And as you can see, everything looks like this. You can also do it on this side. No, just mountain full valley full mountain full valley full, and it over and over again. Try to show you this by a sequence. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom out to show you how it looks like. So it's supposed to look like this. As you can see, fan plates everywhere. If you look from behind, it looks like that. Okay. Now we're going to start 
clips in here. Okay, so just, oh, you're going to take, you see that there is a layer that's overlapping like this. So you're just going to open that. Um, make the mountain fold here, and then the mountain fold along this line. And then here's what you're, what you're going to do. You're going to make a mountain fold here and then mountain fold there. And then just uh, okay, and then make a mountain fold here. There's the push. And you're going to do something like this. Make sure that this part is folded like that. Okay, so this. Now you're going to push here. Make a mountain fold along this line. Do something like this. You see? Okay, and now here it's a pretty, pretty usual box splitting pattern. So just going to do it like this. As you can see, we have this like arrow, and just do it in the way you would normally do it. And this is how it's going to look like. Okay. Turn around and the... Uh, oh, I wasn't even able to turn it around. Uh, wait, where are we? Here. We did the same thing. So what I did was open this part. Make a mountain hold here. Make this thing like that and then fold it. And then just uh, fold it this uh, Pythagorean stretch normal. Okay, so here you have to make a mountain fold and then you know push this part. Okay. And then you know, do that, the book splitting pattern. And look, now we have something like this. Let me just pull. This part is not so accurate. Mm, hopefully, it won't be seen on the fuffle. You see, this is a bit moved from each other. Right, okay, doesn't matter. So.
have something like this. Okay, now I'm going to open this part. Do this. And then just do this, you know, again the regular box splitting. Here is a mountain fold. Just do this. And what we just see. Okay, so when you have that, you, you just fold it like this. Okay. Um, again, I'm going to do that fold here as well, and then here as well. So now we're going to have some tricky stuff going around. Yeah, it's so pretty hard. Okay, I'll do my best to show you how. So this part, because you can see we have so many layers overlapping. So we're going to open everything like this. Of course, try not to open the part there. And um, I'm going to start here. You just make a mountain fold like this and then valley fold. And as you can see, those creases match together. Um, okay, so now you're going to make, you know, those regular box putting stuff. You may notice that this here is a mountain fold, but then later it's going to become a valley fold. You see, this is a valley fold now, but it's going to become a mountain fold. So make it mountain fold. This, and then the valley fold. And then, already, as you can see, we have something like... Um, let me just see if I did everything correctly. We have this thing that will go over. Let me just see if I think they are correct. Yeah, this. And this way. Okay. Um, here to be even easier, suggest you make a mountain fold here first, like that, and then just repeat those folds because there's going to be a mountain fold there anyway. So, okay, then here, um, oh, okay, okay, it's not that hard, just, just try to follow me. Here, make this thing. Here's going to be a mountain fold. And then just uh, follow those creases. Let's see, it starts to close up. Okay, there we go. So here's what I did. It, it should look like this. This part is a bit crumpled, so it's not anymore. Okay, like that, and this goes to the right. Okay, so then this part is folded over like this. 
Now this part was the pain in the ass last time I did it. Let me just check how it's done. Um, anyway, I should have done this at the beginning. Uh, but okay, I'll do it now. So when you have this, you go count one unit and... Yeah, th this is the part we should have done at the beginning. Uh, I didn't do it last time. It's good to do it now. Uh, understand? So, uh, if you look here, you fold this over. Here is one unit, and make that mountain fold like this, and then that fold will will go through all the creases. Yeah, I guess we should have done that before. Okay. Sorry about it. So here is going to be a mountain fold. And it will go through all the creases. And I think we need it again. So here's mountain fold, then another one. And those two are going to be folded over. As you can see, nothing much happened. It's, it still looks like the same. Uh, okay, so now we have those two creases folded over. Can we just see how to deal with them? So this part. Here, so, so this is going to be again. Okay, so it's going to look like this. If you see, we already have those creases here. It's a valley pull there, and then. Here, if you fold this over, you can start doing that regular book splitting stuff again. Yes. So let me just get rid of those. Like that. Okay, so you see, I did that. And here this goes up, this gets folded over, so this is how it should look like. So then it's just a mountain fold, and uh, yeah this side is actually finished now. I think I'm going to make the valley and mountain full crisp pattern so then you can print it and uh, follow along easily. Okay, so I guess I found the easier way to do this in my first time I did it. I did some complex stuff here. Okay, this way is, it's way easier. Okay, so we have something like this. So let's do the same thing here. Should be hard now when we know. So we can open this part. And uh, first we have this. Um, I think I need to do those first. So let me just open this part like this. You make just the mountain fold. 
and a relic bolt. And then here you do something like that. So we just do that regular box putting stuff. this As you can see this folds pretty nicely over okay and now it's pretty easy to do the rest let me just zoom out a little bit okay so this part can be done now just make a mount and fold like this and just fold it over but let's first do some necessary creases so here we know it's regular box putting stuff Okay, so it's like this. You see, you have those folds like that. And then this part gets folded like this. Well, we are almost done with the base. This is how it looks like so far. My opinion looks pretty cool. Okay, now let's just finish this. So here's the top. Again, it's a regular box fitting stuff as always. And then... Now let me just see how I managed to do this part. Huh. This part goes inside. Okay, now, when you come to here, you're going to lift this part up and kind of put this inside. And this is how it looks like. It's pretty hard to show. You kind of open that and then just put this inside and make a bunch, a bunch of creases. When you do it, it, it's, it looks really easy. It goes like that. Okay, now let me just take a um, few clips. So 
so So here is what I'm going to do. This part will be folded down. Those two are going to be in the sides. Okay, now it already looks like um, like the model we have here because um, this part over here is going to be that and here the legs this first pair of legs then you have uh, a river well I can put those down actually you need them. So we're, well, I'll probably need them later. So we have uh, like a river. In between legs, it's two units. So two units here, two units there. And uh, looks pretty cool. It's really thick. Okay. So this is how the base looks like. 